Hi, I'm Kathy Toronto with the Study Care Med Spa, and I'm so excited to be here with Jenny Matthews today. She is such a superstar in the Kansas City Stop. area. Seriously, though, <laughs> I just, I, I told um, some of the women that I work with this morning, I was like, I got on, I listened to your blog again this morning. You're just so talented, oh. and you've worked and done so many things in your career. It's just very impressive. Thank so, you. Yeah, so thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. Yeah, I love, um, I love what I get to do on the radio every day, and then, yeah, I have the podcast, and um, but I really love working with you guys, too, because you do so many amazing things that have changed my life. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Yeah. yeah, we just, you know, I just love the industry for those moments, mm -hmm. you know, getting to work with other women and men. But, you know, so many women that come in with so many concerns and not even knowing that there is a solution for them that could actually be pretty easy. Yeah, so. that was the one thing. I, I, there were just there's so many things that you all offer that I just didn't know was available. Mm -hmm. And when I say life changing, I mean, I don't put anything out there unless it's from the heart. So when I say this stuff works or this is awesome, it's really awesome. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. thank you. Th well, let's start with that. What's your all time yeah. favorite treatment? I think BBL is the biggest wow factor. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to be honest with you, I, I had heard about lasers, and but I thought, oh, I don't know, that sounds kind of scary. I just wasn't Mm -hmm. really sure. But what I love about coming here to Aesthetic Care is that you all explain everything so thoroughly and I just felt like there were no surprises at all with it, all of the treatments I've done. But with BBL, I thought that was just such a huge wow factor because I had brown spots on my face from years of sun damage, just being irresponsible, not wearing sunscreen. And I like all of thought, us. like, I mean, I guess like all of us, <laughs> yeah. but I thought there's just nothing I can do. I just have to get thicker foundation or more coverage foundation. But I hate it where I hate wearing a ton of makeup. I want to yeah. be able to have a more natural look or, you know, at the pool in the summertime. I don't want to have to put stuff on my face. I just want to feel good about my own skin. Right. So. Or even going to the gym and working out. Oh, That's yes. always been one of my things. And it's funny because my all time favorite treatment is also BBL. Really? Yes. So, I mean, I, you know, I grew up, I'm fair in the sun. You know, my parents weren't dousing me with sunscreen because no. they didn't really know at that time. Um, but I developed rosacea. And so constantly flushing and brushing, blushing, no matter if I walk up two steps or I run two miles, like I'm a tomato. Yeah. You know, and so not only did I have the brown age spots, but I also just was like constantly red. And so it manages my rosacea. No medications, no nothing orally, nothing topically, just BBL. Yeah, so. the BBL was unbelievable. And I did a series of, I want to say three now. Mm -hmm. But after my very first one is where I saw the most dramatic difference. And it was just such a simple procedure. I, I just feel like it was one of those things if I had known about it a long time ago, <laughs> I would have totally done it. I yeah. just didn't even realize. And uh, that was just such a big game changer for me. Well, I love that you mentioned how well our team is educating you because that's like my biggest passion. Because you know, even though I've been in this industry for over 20 years, you know, we see it every day, but it, you could, I mean, most of our clients are a little nervous, like to hear laser and not know what to expect, I think is scary. Yeah. And so I'm so happy to hear that, you know, you feel like everything is really talked through with you before the procedure, you're, you're well taken care of after the procedure, because it's really about the experience, not only getting an amazing results, but that you enjoy the process along the way. Totally. Like it doesn't have to be so bad. No, in fact, everything has just really been pretty simple. Um, the halo procedure mm -hmm. was one that I was a little nervous about because it is a little more intense. Yes. But again, I knew exactly what to expect. Um, when I got home, I just knew exactly this is how I'm going to feel for mm -hmm. a little while and then this is what's going to happen next. And there were just no surprises with any of the procedures, but particularly that one. I, I And that's one of my favorite things I've done here. Oh, good. The halo, halo. or the B oh the halo also. Well, BBL yeah. first, yeah. and then I did the halo, and I just cannot believe. I can't believe this is my skin. I can't believe I can not wear makeup now and really truly enjoy just the natural glow of my own skin. And it's amazing how once you get to that point, if you'll wear sunscreen and protect it, you know. And yes, you do some kind of management treatments along the way, but if you really protect it, you maintain it. Yeah, I mean, so. I. Now I'm I'm obsessive with hats and sunscreen when I go outside, things I never thought about before. So just being more careful, but mm -hmm. I cannot believe between the BBL and the Halo, I just feel like I'm so proud of my skin and I never in a million years thought I would say that. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I, I mean, it's that. really been an amazing confidence booster and just, you know, I get up at four in the morning for work and mm -hmm. I don't really always wanna get up and get ready. So I love that I can truly go to work without anything on my face and just feel 
attractive. I mean, which is great. <laughs> which is right? great. Yeah, well, I just kind of like I get better. my hair done. I feel so much better. Yeah, you know, like totally. I put clothes on versus being in my pajamas. I feel so much better. But it's like our skin. It's, this is this is the only skin we get. Yep. And you know, just doing some corrective treatments and then protecting it, it can go such a long way. Mm -hmm. And you know, you mentioned the BBL and Halo, and I know we did those separately for you, mm -hmm. but we oftentimes will combine them. Oh. So that's an amazing treatment for someone that has a lot of sunspots with some texture that they don't like, fine lines and wrinkles, you know, because you're young, you have beautiful skin to start with, maybe some brown spots and things that you didn't like. But, you know, there's a lot of clients that come in maybe that are 55 or 65 that have never done anything for their skin either. And so no matter your age, if your skin age has multiple conditions that you would like to see improved in a short amount of time, you can combine BBL with Halo, have that one one week of all the little brown kind of sandpaper like texture. Mm -hmm. So the brown spots come up just like they did with BBL and then you get all the dots of halo and then that sloughs off within about five to six days. And so you can make that process you can go through the process all at once in one week. I can't even imagine so. if I had done all of that at once, <laughs> I think I would have cried. Yeah. <laughs> Is this me? Yeah. <laughs> it was such a dramatic hmm. difference. But I'll say even the recovery, I was a little worried about with Halo. I made sure I didn't have anything major planned mm -hmm. for that week. Um, I didn't think it was terrible. I, I just, I, you know, it sloughed off. Mm -hmm. I had a, a bit of a sandpaper texture, but I really thought overall that was not a terrible recovery at all. Right. So for people that don't want to slough or have the peeling or flaking, mm -hmm. BBL is the answer. Yes. But for someone that doesn't mind a week of, you know, feeling and looking a little dry and then the sloughing that happens about 24 to 48 hours takes about two days for it to fully happen. Yeah. I always tell people, you'll be in the shower and it's like your braces have been removed. Your teeth are so smooth. Your skin starts to feel so smooth, like around your mouth first and then on your cheeks and then on, you know, on your forehead and yep. by your hairline. And if you're willing to go through that week, it's a dramatic improvement. It, it, that doesn't, yeah. I mean, seriously, it is life changing. And then I even found it just kept getting better and better and better week after week. Mm -hmm. I just never thought, don't we all kind of want to be J-Lo with that J-Lo glow? And I, <laughs> From head to toe. Really. I mean, look, I'm, I'm not going to have all the J-Lo things, <laughs> but I thought- I think we have insult. <laughs> there are things. things. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but I, I felt, I felt like, okay, I know what she feels like with the glow, because I felt like I had a little bit of that. Yeah, you know, I love that you said that, because with Halo, I often tell clients, you know, it's really a three, it's, it's three points of change in the skin. The first one happens within the first week because you see all of it come up and then it sloughs off and you see a dramatic change in your skin. But the halo technology targets water in the skin and heats it up so that it creates a columnized, um, area of thermal damage. And so because it uses water, the skin can look a little dehydrated for about three to four weeks. And then all of a sudden it's as if you've like painted on hyaluronic acid, mm -hmm. which is really hydrating for the skin and for the body. And so you get that glow. Yeah. And then about three months later, you're still getting the benefits because the other um, laser that is delivered to the skin through Halo creates a very um, a deeper wound in the dermis. And so when that happens, it forces the fibroblast cells to produce collagen elastin and we get you know, help with our texture and our fine lines and wrinkles. And so it's like we get a, a great result a week later and then a month we start to glow and then three months later we see some other improvements. And so it's the treatment that just kind of keeps on giving, I, know, I think. I do feel like it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really have, like I said, just never loved my skin. I've just and I feel like I had, I felt like I had to cover it up for a long time. And now I'm proud to show it. And that was the one thing during my consultation that she said, she said, we want you to love your skin. We don't yeah. want you to have to cover up. Yeah. And I just, I thought, well, that's so sweet. <laughs> that's yeah. so nice that you're saying that, but I don't know if that's going to work for me. And then when it did, it's like, wow, this is incredible. Oh, I, love, I, I love that too, because I think so much of what I see happening in social media and especially in our industry is sometimes things are overdone or there are some of the younger generation i will say that want to look like someone else whether it's the kardashians or yes. whatever it is or all the filters that are out there and i think most of us just want to look and feel our best we don't want to look like someone else mm -hmm. we're not after big changes and things that make us look what most people would say is weird but everybody has their own their their own desires but you know it's like the things that we do aesthetic care our focus is really just that is mm -hmm. helping you 
get the look that you want, that you feel refreshed, you feel like you just got a great night's sleep versus... That's just it. And when I was younger, I think I even said, oh, I'll just age the way I age, and that's I'm never gonna do anything. <laughs> and then I started aging, and I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> maybe I'll do a few things. But I think just yeah. that's what I love about the, the things that you offer here at Aestheticare, because it's just, again, subtle things uh. that I do feel like I just look refreshed. I look like a better version of me, if that yes. makes sense. Yes, and I love the whole, the young piece, because, you know, when I was 20, I was like, oh, you know, it's like everything's gonna be great forever. Oh, yeah. You just don't know what you don't know. <laughs> You don't know uh, yeah, until you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so talking about that, you know, you've also come in and done a series of Imcella treatments and then mm -hmm. a treatment that we offered called Diva. Yes. And, you know, one of the things that I looked at when we were researching that technology, first of all, I had had a baby. So I had my first baby at 40 and, you know, I just had a lot of changes. Like a lot of changes. Nobody told me everything that was going to happen and yeah. the things that were never going to go back. Yep. Right? Yep. No one tells you. No one. <laughs> why? We should tell each other. I Honestly, that's why I'm pretty open on the radio or on my blog or wherever because I just feel like women don't talk about so many things that we all go through. And you're so right. After I had two kids, <laughs> um, yeah, things change yeah. for sure. And so when I was 20, I didn't even know those things were issues that women had, like no. mild to moderate to extreme incontinence to painful sex, not wanting to have sex. You know, I mean, there's so many things that changes with the body. And so when we started researching Diva, I mean, I seriously get the goosebumps right now talking about it because there's so many women that their lives have truly been changed and improved from it, that it's it's not, you know, I love the skin glow, I love helping people with their acne scars right. and things like that, but when women come in and they're crying, saying like, oh my God, I haven't had sex in five years and now I can have sex again, or, you know, there's just so many stories that we've heard from it, that is just so powerful and I just want women to know about it. I know, so. and I can speak to that because um, waking up, and I'm not exaggerating, three to four times a night to have to use the bathroom is, terrible for your sleep, first of all, mm -hmm. but I couldn't help it. I just, and I could stop drinking water at four o'clock in the afternoon. It didn't matter. I just was getting up constantly in the night to go to the restroom. And if I get up once a night at all, I mean, that's rare. If I get up mm -hmm. at all during the night, this procedure has completely changed my bladder. So I did a series of m mm -hmm. and then I did um, two of the Diva treatments. Mm -hmm. And I cannot tell you how life-changing that has been. Oh, I love that. So what, yeah. what were you the most nervous about with whether it was Diva or Imcella? Uh, all of it, yeah. <laughs> for being honest. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's your lady parts. when your feet go up, <laughs> nobody ever likes that. Oh, here's yeah. what I will say, though. Your staff is so awesome because every single nurse that I have encountered, first of all, I feel like they're my new best friend because we're doing yeah. such intimate yes. procedures. Yeah. <laughs> but they just make it, they just make it so comfortable and easygoing and they're women too and they yeah. get it and they speak right. to their own experience with it, which is also comforting. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it, I just can't believe how easy these procedures are that make such a world of difference. And so what was the difference for you? I mean, so you did two Diva treatments mm -hmm. and so, and then a series of six Imcella treatments. Yes. And so you did the Diva treatment first. No, I did the Imcella, Imcella first. first. Yep. Okay. Yep. Which actually is a really nice way to do it because I think a lot of women, so the Imcella treatment, you come in, you wear your clothes. You know, we actually have a pair of shorts for you to put on if you're in tight jeans or something. But, um, you know, you sit in the chair. I sat on the chair. I scrolled my... Facebook feed, yeah. I read, I t you know, took care of some business. Yeah, it, it, super simple. So easy with that treatment. And I yep. think most women will be like, oh, okay, I'll try that. It's, it's an excellent way to start treatments for pelvic floor health, for incontinence, just for blood flow to the area. So that technology is built or based on MRI technology and it forces the body to do thousands of kegels within less than 30 minutes actually. Insane. And was it painful? No, not at all. Isn't it weird? You think it would be, right? I, again, was terrified. Yeah. <laughs> I really didn't know what to think about any of this, but no, that, could, that couldn't have been any easier. I mean, you just sit down for, I think it was 30 minutes. Right. It's hard to mm -hmm. explain the sensation, I think, until you... I, I wanna say zap, but that sounds terrible because zap sounds like it would be painful, but it's not. Um, just kind of a, oh, hey. 
like a rubber band snap maybe, mm -hmm. but even like, that sounds painful. It's like a contraction. A, yeah, it's, like, it's not painful mm -hmm. is all I can say. It's it just not. Well, and I think too, the nice thing about it is that you do feel something. Mm -hmm. Because if you didn't feel anything, I would at least, I would wonder what it was doing. Is, is, it, is working? it working? Yeah. yeah. And so with the Amcella chair, we start you at a lower intensity. And then as you sit in and get used to it and find the right spot, which mm -hmm. is really important, we slowly increase the intensity. So it should never be an uncomfortable or painful experience. No, not at all. So, And it's not like we've got to get you to a certain number to get a result. So we just dial it up and then once you you know once we get you to that number you just sit on the chair and enjoy a show on netflix or play on your phone or something I mean, like that super simple i can't express and i did have results with just the Msella chair i did mm -hmm. um the diva is just kind of what took it over the top for me that really yeah. changed the game well it's the the two treatments together and I, I use this analogy so much in skin and body but you know it's like working out and eating right when you do both mm -hmm. you get a much quicker change in your body than just working out or eating right they both can work yep. but it's just the combination that makes the the dramatic and long-term changes. Yeah. And it's the same with Diva and Imcella. They really do marry so well together. And so with Diva, I'm sorry, with Imcella, why it works the muscles and and really so it does it does those Kegel exercises for you. It rebuilds that pelvic floor. Diva is different. It's actually a device that gets inserted into the vagina and over two to three minutes it rotates and treats the skin and tissue inside the vagina. So we're not treating the muscle with Diva. Um, and the great thing is it's two to three minutes. Like it's right. super simple and fast, but it actually creates this thermal injury zones, columns of thermal injury in the skin, I'll call it skin, in the in the vagina, similar to how Halo creates columns of injury yeah. in the skin on the face. But for those people that have had Halo and it gets so hot, Diva, I found like there was no heat. I was so surprised. Like it wasn't, it wasn't uncomfortable no. afterwards. I didn't think so anyway. I didn't either. So. I, I did not think that that was painful in any way at all. I, maybe at the very, very end as, it, as you're about to be finished, mm -hmm. there's just a slight... I don't even know how to explain it, just a sensation, mm -hmm. but no, no pain whatsoever. And again, if you're just nervous because it's your private parts, yeah. um, again, your staff is so fantastic. It's just, they just make you feel just so easy peasy about it. It's oh, just not a big thank deal. Thank you. Yeah. They're just amazing. No, I'm so they really blessed. Are. The team is, our team is just so amazing. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so then with Diva, you know, with that procedure, the benefit then is healthier tissue and blood flow, which is why I think, you know, the combination. So you built your pelvic floor, the muscles are stronger, the tissue is healthier, and it's that combination that I think really gives such an amazing result. And it can be done and customized based on what your desired results are. So whether mm -hmm. it's mild incontinence or having to get up urgency, getting up in the middle of the night, or whether you can't jump on the trampoline anymore with your kids right. or you sneeze and it's like, oh, but across my legs, you know, and two, those, the Imcella chair can be done for men. Mm -hmm. So I there's didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. And it's main, the main reason why we looked at purchasing it because we had a friend that had done a series of treatments and he said, you know, I used to drive to St. Louis and I'd have to stop two or three times to go to the bathroom and I had this series of treatments. And I don't have to stop anymore. Yeah. And so we were like, all right, there's something to this treatment. And oh, that, um, it absolutely works. Like I said, yeah. I was getting up several times a night and that's just annoying. Nobody yeah. wants to do that. No, right. And right. the fact that I don't have to Especially do that Especially when anymore. you have kids and you're oh, thinking yeah. they're finally sleeping through the night. <laughs> I know. Why can't I sleep through the night? <laughs> What's wrong with this picture? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I I've definitely uh, uh, experienced, I believe, the full benefit from both procedures with that. Oh, well, great. Mm -hmm. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah, like, you of know, course. And, just... and if anybody wants to know more personal information about it, I mean, I really am an open book. Reach out to me. You can find me on q104kc.com or whatever. Thank but you. yeah, I'm happy to answer questions because I know, again, it's not something that everybody feels comfortable talking about. Um, I know some sometimes with your circle of girlfriends, that's like for me, it's a very safe, open space, mm -hmm. but not everybody has that and probably has some personal questions. So definitely reach out. Definitely. Yeah. So out of all of your treatments of aesthetic hair, or your experiences, you know, I think we've kind of talked about maybe one of your favorites is BBL. Yeah. Or, and um, and maybe your some of the fears that you had. Is there anything else within that realm that you'd like to share? Like anything that you think people, you, questions you've gotten over the last few months, anything that's come up that we haven't really talked about? Well, I've experienced cool sculpting also. Oh, awesome. I did two yeah. treatments on mm -hmm. my my back fat, and I I love that treatment. I thought that was another super simple one. Nothing I would say nothing I've done has had any pain involved in it at all. Mm -hmm. um, 
a stra- maybe a strange sensation. It's kind mm-hmm. of a strange sensation. It's weird when it comes off, I think. Yeah. Because it's cold. It, right. And so that sensation for a couple of minutes, I think for the most part, is what I have experienced or what our other clients say is there's a couple minutes of it's just uncomfortable. Yeah. But it's not painful at all. And I did see great results with that. Um, and I just feel a lot more confident that I don't have back fat spilling out over the top of my jeans. I can't and imagine you had back fat. I did have back fat. You know, but that's the thing I love about Aesthetic-Care. Whatever, mm-hmm. you have to do what makes you feel good and what is going to help your confidence. And we mm-hmm. all have different mm-hmm. things that can really make you feel good. I couldn't agree more, yeah. which, you know, is why I kind of fumbled my way into this industry so long long ago and it just like never left. Yeah. Because it continually gets better. There's always new technology that comes out. And you know, we really pride ourselves on being the forefront of that technology so that you don't have to go to, you know, California or Florida or L you know, anywhere to get the treatments. You can just find it right here in Kansas City. Yeah. And so we always make that investment because that's one of the things that stop clinics from getting the equipment is that it's expensive. Mm-hmm. And so it's, it's you know, not only the expense of it, but then the time it really takes to educate your team to make sure that every client has an amazing experience. And, you know, we've just found people, you know, on our team that have done such a great job of that, that oh, for they, sure. they just want the education. They only want to offer treatments that they know and really believe in, which I am the same. Like I, even if we bought a piece of equipment and we found out like it didn't do, or it wasn't as great as we thought it would yeah. be, we just don't want to offer it. You know, we just want the treatments that we know are going to work. And sometimes it's just more than one visit. And I would mm-hmm. say most things are. Yeah. And I think that makes sense. Like we don't get brown spots overnight. We don't get the little love handles and things overnight. You know, incontinence doesn't happen overnight. And so it's usually a series of visits that really get the best results, the long lasting results. Well, and keeping up with things like Botox is another thing that I am a huge fan of here at Aesthetic Care. And especially here because I feel again that I'm in good hands, that know exactly what they're doing, I I just feel like this is the place to go because that it's your face, it's your mm-hmm. it's your body. You know, you don't want to just go anywhere. And I feel like you guys are so just educated about it and, and just know so much. And I I feel confident when I come here for for treatment. So was that your first treatment? What was your first treatment? Very first here was BBL. It was BBL? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then it was Botox. Mm-hmm. Okay. So between the two, I thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> what is happening? But this works. This yeah. is amazing. But Botox, I think, is so incredible because, again, I was a person who years ago said, oh, I'm never doing anything. I'm just going to age gracefully, whatever. Uh-huh. Well, guess what? If I can do a little Botox and uh, right. look a little bit younger, I'm good with it. And that's just another um, thing that I was really scared. It's needles, you know, and you just, there's a fear of the unknown of what's that going to feel like. It's such a quick it's, it's just so quick. You don't minutes. even have time to think about it. Minutes. minutes. It's minutes. I think, too, a lot of people combine Botox and filler in one, mm-hmm. but they don't know the difference between the two. And they see weird pictures on the internet of like the big crazy lips or weird shapes like the lion faces that start to happen or mm-hmm. monkey faces. And, and so, really understanding the difference between the two and then also understanding it's all about the injector. Yes. The injector is so important. It is an art. Just like art is on a canvas, like it is an art to say like, this is your face. Mm -hmm. And this is what, you know, maybe you look like, and it's great to see pictures of when you were younger because you can actually create that look again, not trying to create a different look for you. Right. And so Botox is so simple, so easy. You know, you don't see, it just, the, it relaxes the muscle. And so you just look rested is the way I always think about it. I, I think with all of this, I think that's the key. Mm-hmm. I just, people will even look at me and say, gosh, you just look good, refreshed, mm-hmm. rested, glowing. Yes. And that's to me, that's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Me too. Yeah. You know, the Botox, it's interesting because like I'll have it done and, you know, it takes a couple days to kick in, whether right. it's Botox or Dysport. And we, we offer multiple types of neurotoxin, but I, I swear, I'll be driving down the road and I feel it kicking in. I do too. Like the little <laughs> eyebrow lift. I'm just yep. like, yes. Like, I don't know why. It always happens when I'm driving. <laughs> and I know I can always tell the day too when I need to get back in here because I'm like, oh, I think it wore off today. But, yeah. I, but I get a long period of time with it. So I do feel like um, I started using Dysport, but mm-hmm. I feel like that yeah. I get a good, I, I get a you great like result with both, but I prefer mm-hmm. that, I think. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I think sometimes, you know, we'll, with our injectors, we have multiple options. And so they choose 
for the what's best for the client or if the client has a preference we'll definitely do that as well mm -hmm. and then eventually I think it just gets to the point where we figure out what's right for you after a couple of visits both between what you see and what the injector sees right. um, but I it's just so important that you know that's why we spend thousands of dollars every year to get additional training and we're a training facility like we also own a training facility so you know we bring in injectors from all over the country to work with our team so that we can learn the newest techniques and make sure that we give that refreshed look with the droopy eyebrow or mm -hmm. you know anything like that so. yeah it's obvious that everyone is so thoroughly trained here so just have the confidence and know that you're absolutely going to the best place oh, well thank yeah, you yeah i can't say enough about it so i really want to say thank you jenny for coming by and for sharing all of your intimate details and experiences with us because i think that's really what makes an impact you know our clients really want to understand the procedures and hear about it from someone that's experienced it and and so I want to say thank you. I'm sure that they're going to thoroughly enjoy this. <laughs> and um, so anything else you want to share? Oh, uh, just that I'm an open book. <laughs> so if you have any questions that I, you'd like me to answer, I would be happy to do that. You can just reach out anytime. I'm, I'm an open book. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. If you have any questions, give us a call to Aesthetic Care. We love doing consultations and we can't wait to see you.